uh, sequence tool is very interesting tool that you can access it to the media and here <clears throat> sequence in a sequence uh, uh, you can import your animation and control them the speed the position move them and then you can control your camera animation it's very interesting before that you have to import uh, animation plus make sure that you are in the animation tab <coughs> open it and i have a simple animation that i imported in software and you can play your animation there you can see i have an animation here i bring it in software here is animation and i move it there you can see it's automatically it's a simple box that uh, go in this direction it's very simple like a car chasing in the trailer of this soft new feature uh, if you import your <coughs> animation then you can go to the media and then go with sequence and click here to create your first sequence if you create it's automatically create an action cam to you that you can uh, keep from your uh, your <coughs> camera and here uh, it does not uh, this animation of animation number one and uh, it's tells me pl play to uh, show your animation and this is an playhead that you can and uh, keep from your uh, camera it's very simple this is my frames uh, k-frame here if you select the k-frame you can change any of environment setting of that and here uh, this is our camera k for example i want to bring there and move in this position a little bit and then k-frame and now we can see we have an uh animation k-frame like this it's very interesting instead of the if you go to the video we have another k-frame of the camera but in this case it is very nice and uh <clears throat> and here you can drag and the uh, drag your uh, animation sequence like this and for example i want to animation of this object begin when i reach to the this part and i can see it's begin animation interesting so another usage of the sequence that is you can uh, control at which time it will be begin and uh, i tell the time you can uh, actually change the time to seconds or fps if you want so here you can uh, looping and looping this animation at any time that you want or cut animation or cut any animation that you want any time of the animation interesting so here you are k-frame interesting part of that you can uh, select your k-frame and then uh, select your k-frame here you can delete it delete this k-frame and change the k-frame from here you can see the timing between the two k-frame is long and it is a smooth moving we have a smooth moving to the oh another uh, bad part is if you have to put change your uh, playhead then move to the position that you want and then refresh in this case then the keyframe will be created and you can see the timing uh, the distance between keyframe is too long so the playhead take time to reach to another keyframe and so uh, our keyframing is sl slow you can if you want you can add another camera part another camera part with another keyframe that you can go uh, another place refresh it 
and for example come here and add another keyframe here so we have two parts you can see part number four it's a different camera here if you select your animation the settings will be here you can enable or um, turn it on or off you can make it loop or once or infinite you can see it's infinite infinite to the end of the frame that you selected here in the details it's very interesting you can uh, control the speed of your animation another visual sequence is this you can start delay because I manually change it here you can um, yeah you can change the range of the animation look at here it's a range of the animation you can uh, change the range of animation from zero or 100 percent of the animation for example my animation is uh, three seconds it means it's from zero to to fully three seconds seconds another layer set so you can control your animation speed or anything that you want here if you select your camera we have another sitting here yeah you can transition type between these two you can select it at any time at the scene if you want to export you can uh, create snapshot and it goes to the image and you can export it <clears throat> you can turn on or off helper or you can tell the uh, fake to black for example we have two cut of the camera here it's fake into the black and then it is in i think i have to make it to the out now you can see it's turning to black and going to the another <coughs> sorry action cam uh, so action cam uh, yeah it's override camera roll it's all about changing the angle of the camera i have to create a uh, camera you can <coughs> delete it okay and delete this keyframe again this is our beginning uh, it's because in is fade out we can make it just cut no fading <coughs> um, override camera load if the camera changing its angle it's uh, make the camera constant if you don't want you can untick that or take that you can see it's make sure that the camera uh, horizon is making constant so i'm here and refresh this from this angle going in this part and moving in this direction and add you can see um, the distance that the camera travel and the the distance between the keyframe control the speed of your animation you can go here another keyframe then for example rotate another keyframe and then go to this part sorry for that because uh, this is an 10 seconds you can double click and add any number that you want just change the duration you can uh, change the duration also here go to the this part and another keyframe so just play and see this is our animation and you can see we have a different speed of our camera you can you can delete this keyframe and 
I want to this part make the camera faster and add the keyframe here and it's fast you can see <clears throat> at any uh, pass we have a different camera speed and if you want to constant camera speed you can smooth speed make it it you can see the keyframe are in a different distance because of that we have a different speed between the keyframe look at the keyframe if you click speed they are slightly changing and we have a constant speed in any keyframe between keyframe you can see constant speed we can change it nice just one click if you want to you have to control z to come back to your original keyframe okay that's it from here this is a sequence you can change the sequence format to export and of course tie rendering and in export this is about video okay you have to go to the video click on here and you can see we have a sequence name and from here you can export you can see this icon here it's all about sequence from here you can export your sequence with a start exporting and the setting that you change in a video for example mp4 do you want any frame rate, all detail that I explained it before, and that's it.